what's going on guys today i have for you a deck profile today we're going to be looking at fire kings and uh this is going to be just the three times structure deck profile so um everything in this area is going to be in the structure decks and you can build this deck just by using three of those so let's get right into it we have the main deck we have the extra deck side deck and honorable mentions some other choices you could make so the first thing we have is one OG Garunix. Um, he's just, uh, he, he's kind of used as like an interruption. He's not really a great extender, but he can be used as an extender in some situations. Three of the uh, new Garunix. He's basically the heart of the deck. He makes the deck run. And he is absolutely necessary for every single combo you have, basically. Um, he is probably the best extender in the deck. Free Kieran. Uh, second best extender in the deck. Allows you to play on your opponent's turn. And um, allows you to non-target pop cards after special summoning something. Which is just insane. Then we have three Arvada. Um, very good monster negate. Pops your your other fire kings in order to get their abilities. And um, in other builds, it's necessary for some two card combos. Then we have two Barong. Barong is necessary for uh, some of your mainline combos. Um, your one card combo in this deck is basically just Barong. Um, Actually, most of your combos, I think, yeah, you don't really have any big combos. You really just have your one card combo and like cards to supplement it. So really, um, you're not going to be like link climbing or doing anything crazy like that. So yeah, this is what I have in place of the third Barong. Um, this can be used as an interruption when you summon Garunix on your opponent's turn. Or even on your turn if you're trying to break a board. Um, I do think that these two cards are very good in this build. Because you don't have like all the combo potential and the extra deck monsters to, to pick up the slack. Next I have the Spell and Trap Negate. Um, it's a very good Spell and Trap Negate. It helps you extend because it pops your, your, fire, your fire Kings. Um, yeah, it's just, I mean, very good for the deck. When you're using the structure deck build, you kind of have no choice but to use him. Um, but I also use him in my other builds. Um, I've never cut him in any Fire King build. So I do think he's a very good card. Three Ponix. He is your one card starter. Um, he special summons himself from your hand if, if a fire is destroyed from anywhere. Um, he adds himself back to your hand from the graveyard during the standby phase. Um, if he is destroyed, he's very, very good. He's basically, you want to see him in every single hand. So yeah. Spells. We have Sanctuary. Um, Sanctuary is better than, Fi than Fire King Island because it searches Fire King Island, but we also run to Fire King Island. Uh, these are kind of like starters because these with any any fire in your hand will get you to Ponix or basically any Fire King. They get you to any Fire King. So, um, yeah, very good cards. You want to run two fire, two islands because in this build you really rely on it. So if it gets outed by your opponent, you're basically screwed. Um, so you want to have that second one to fall back on. But in most builds, I would cut this and just run the three Sanctuary and the one Island. Then we're going to go three Tenki. Uh, we use Tenki to search your... Uh, what is this? Rangbali? I, I don't know why they changed the name. Hanuman was such a cool name. Um, yeah, so the Tenki can search the Rangbali, the uh, Barong, or the Arvada. So, it is a very good card in this deck. It is a very good extender in this deck. Uh, we don't have many uh, consistency cards, so I decided to go 2 Traden. Um, 
you could run all three um but i don't know i feel like we want to stick to to as close to 40 as possible in this deck and this deck just comes with so many good cards that you don't need to run the third one in order to still have a nice consistent strong deck we have the two skyburn um really good card for breaking boards really good card as a backup set card for your mainline combo um just a really good card for the deck in general so yeah then we have circle of the fire kings this is really good i don't know why people are cutting this in in most builds um i think that this card is probably equally as good as this card in most situations but this this card uh can come up in a couple extra situations that this one doesn't so like for example if there's no fire king in the graveyard this one is still useful while this one is not so yeah then we have the rekindling uh these are going to be basically your two reborns in the deck um rekindling is good in any other build i would cut it then we have our uh interruptions i'm not even going to say hand traps because they're not all hand traps we have three draw three emperor and three judgment so six hand traps and this card um a lot of people are not playing it in this deck even in like more expensive builds this card is good in every single fire king build and the reason for that is because your biggest concern in fire kings is this guy getting destroyed or this guy getting taken out outed um because probably your most important interruption on your opponent's turn is going to be the garunix or yeah the garunix eternity and without this it's impossible to go into garunix eternity on your opponent's turn so in my opinion judgment is one of the best cards to use along with rangbali this gives you four cards and one of them is searchable by one two three four five six seven eight different cards so these are going to be your outs to things like um harpy's feather duster cosmic cyclone um things like that also if your island gets outed um it can be a problem in some situations even though sometimes you want your stuff to get destroyed there are times when you don't so you want to you want to protect your fire king island sometimes so yeah very good card all right then we have our extra deck we're gonna have every single card in the structure deck at three that gives us 12 cards it's everything we can use and we will use everything MVP of the deck, in general. Now we have our side deck. This is a little more interesting. Three Kaiju. Three Alpha. Three Dark Hole. Three Herald. Three Flam Volcano. Uh, allow me to explain all of these. Kaiju, good against pearly towers, things you can't out. Otherwise, um, you don't run Unicorn in this deck, so this is the only out you have the, to those types of things. Alpha Master the Beast. Um, it's a good interruption. Uh, probably the best interruption in the side deck going second. Um, no. Herald is definitely the best, but Master is a, is a close second. It can also be used as trade-in bait along with uh, the Doggeron. So going second, this package right here gives you so much consistency because eight, eight, you have two trade-in in the deck. So you could even side the third trade-in along with these cards. 
or even like cut one alpha for the third trade in dark hole uh pretty self-explanatory destroys all, mo all the monsters on the field um your monsters benefit from being destroyed typically you want to use it against uh opponents whose monsters don't benefit from being destroyed so do not side this against unchained Herald of the Abyss, good against Pearly, um, good against Towers in general. Um, this is it's basically like another Kaiju kind of. Um, it it kind of serves the same function as Kaiju. So yeah, very good interruption. Flanville Counter. This card serves the same purpose as Judgment. So in this deck. these two cards being outed can be a serious problem so typically you want to have something to protect those going first i would side this in almost every time all right and let's go over some honorable mentions i talked about it earlier the third barong um really good extender um it's a great second card in your hand because then you don't have to send it to the grave using your Garunix, you can send something like Kirin instead to revive one of your Fire Kings and then pop a card on the field. Um, yeah, it's 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 really good. Um, if you want to run the third one, I I would not blame you at all. The third trade-in, uh, very similar, it adds consistency. Um, you could even throw it in the side alongside the six level eights, like I told you earlier. Fire King Island, it is considered basically a starter, but it is kind of the worst starter in the deck. So I do not like playing the third one in any situation. If you want to, go right ahead. Torrential Tribute um, serves the same purpose as Dark Hole, but it is um, slower. So, you know, your cards like to be destroyed. Their cards kind of don't. Um, but... On the other hand, it is a quick a quick effect because it's naturally a trap. So what you can do is at the end of your combo, when you have your at the end of the combo when you have your Garunix out with two materials under him, you go, Oh, you thought it was over? Flip torrential tribute. Destroy my monster destroy all of your monsters and now I get to special summon two more monsters because my XEs had material so yeah that can be a pretty good play the the biggest issue with this is unchained put simply we got uh, Kuranai this is a time card um, I don't see you ever going into time with this structure deck build because it's not a combo heavy build it's kind of like you do a two minute combo and then you pass and then your opponent tries to break it um but if you feel like you know you might end up getting into the grind game in your locals a lot or you experience yourself getting into the grind game a lot this is something that you can throw on your side to uh to help you in time power sink stone um kind of a floodgatey card um, I don't like it because it does conflict with basically everything you do, but you can, before your opponent even starts to play, you can, you can basically have this online because with your one card combo, which is your Ponyx, with your one card combo, which is Ponyx, during your opponent's standby phase, you're going to be activating Barong and Ponyx to add two cards to your hand. So that's two monster effects. That means Power Stone is already turned on. So it is um, it is playable in the deck, but I don't like it because it slows the game down so much. And um, it, it costs you sometimes. It can, it can conflict with some of your combos. Like, for example, if you use it, you can't go into uh, Garunity Eterni uh, Garunix Eternity because you will have already used two monster effects. I'm also going to want to do some combos for the Tri Brigade variant. So look out for that because that's really the only one 
that's very combo heavy. The other ones, like Nadir Servant, the Nadir Servant version and other versions like that are very, um, very linear. You just kind of do the same thing every single time. And then you just have a strong board. You just happen to have a strong board because you just have so much stuff. So, yeah. There we go. We have our Fire King three times structure deck profile. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these back in, in their correct order for you guys. And yeah. Have fun.